Today we are going to talk to you about network security devices. In this video we will talk about the devices used to secure networks, from firewalls to intrusion detection systems to proxies and beyond. There are many ways to make your network secure and we will discuss the most common devices and their advantages and disadvantages. Communication has evolved since the beginning of mankind. From smoke signals to drums, the Pony Express, carrier pigeons, the telegraph, the telephone, the mobile phone, and now the internet. Making sure the information that is exchanged is secure and private has also been a priority. With the advancement of the internet also came the exposure of our data and information in our offices and even in a coffee shop. If we do not have a security protocol in place, we can increase the risk of our information being stolen. The first security device we will look at is the firewall. Firewalls are a set of hardware and software tools that monitor the flow of traffic between networks. Firewalls can regulate the connections formed to your network and either allow or not allow them based on the list of rules with which the firewall is configured. They can be as simple or complex as you or your company require. How a firewall works is it compares an incoming packet to its rule set, and if the packet does not meet the criteria, the firewall will drop the packet and not allow it onto your network. This can help prevent bad things from getting onto your network and causing harm. Some of the advantages of firewalls are they can prevent malicious traffic from entering the network, they can be centrally managed through SNMP, they can perform some spam filtering, and they can restrict access to certain services or websites. The disadvantages are they cannot prevent people from revealing personal information through social engineering attacks, they are only as effective as the rules they are configured to enforce, and they cannot prevent application hacks against flawed applications. There are three main types of firewalls, network firewalls, web application firewalls, and next-gen firewalls. Each have their own unique capabilities and uses, and there is no one-size-fits-all solution for your firewall needs. A network firewall is the most traditional firewall and filters traffic based on network traffic rules which regulate ports, states, and protocols. This is called basic packet inspection and is a fast and efficient way to catch most undesired packets. WAFs are more of a content filter rather than just a packet filter. They can be configured on a very granular level and can block certain parts of applications without blocking the entire application. For example, a WAF can be configured to block a Facebook game without blocking the user from Facebook altogether. WAFs can even look inside SSL sessions to ensure an attacker is not hiding their presence. A WAF filters, monitors, and blocks HTTP traffic to and from a web application. By inspecting HTTP traffic, it can prevent attacks stemming from web application security flaws, such as SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and security misconfigurations. They can look at the content of the traffic, and if it is sensitive information, prevent the traffic from leaving the network. Proxies are actually a type of firewall that can filter out unwanted traffic and can prevent employees from accessing potentially dangerous websites. There are many types of proxy servers from anonymizing proxies that hide information about the requesting system to content filtering proxies which compare requests to an acceptable use policy using keywords, domain names, or the URL. By filtering traffic, employers hope to prevent loss of corporate data, hijacked systems, and infections from malicious websites, making proxies a very useful security tool. Intrusion detection is the process of monitoring and identifying attempted unauthorized system access or manipulation. Intrusion detection systems are designed to detect, log, and respond to unauthorized intrusions into the network. They are mainly software systems, but larger systems require dedicated hardware. An intrusion detection system gathers and analyzes information from diverse areas within a computer or network to identify possible security breaches which include both intrusions, attack from outside the organization, and misuse, attack from within the organization. The IDS identifies any suspicious patterns that may indicate an attack on the system and acts as a security check on all transactions that take place in and out of the system. Most IDSs have four logical components a traffic collector that collects events for the IDS to look at, an analysis engine which examines the collected traffic and compares it to known malicious activity, a signature database which contains the patterns and definitions of known malicious activity, and a user interface that sends alerts and allows the user to view reports. So let's compare intrusion detection systems and firewalls. 
The main difference is that firewalls filter packets based on rules, while IDSs alert the user to potential intrusions or malware in the network, and the user is responsible for responding. Firewalls serve as a wall which packets must go through to get into the network, while IDSs monitor what is on the network and its behavior. Intrusion prevention systems are very similar to intrusion detection systems with one very important difference. Intrusion prevention systems can actually take predetermined actions to immediately respond to potential attacks without waiting for a user to look at an alert and decide what action to take. Intrusion prevention systems therefore dramatically decrease response time to potential threats and can prevent damage or data loss from taking place. These actions are based on specific rules created by the user, so it is only as good as the user. It doesn't think for itself. Unified Threat Management Security Devices combine services such as firewalls, IDSs, and antivirus, serving as a sort of all-in-one security solution. UTM devices are marketed as easier to learn and use, as well as more efficient than separate devices for each service. So let's review. Firewalls come in many shapes and sizes, from content filtering to IP address blocking, and strictly follow a prescribed set of rules. Proxies are types of firewalls that can anonymize client requests or filter content based on an acceptable use policy. Intrusion detection systems alert the user to potential malicious activity and log the activity for later review. Intrusion prevention systems have an IDS at the core, but can take predetermined actions to respond to the malicious activity much faster than a human. Today we have looked at many different devices used to secure networks, from firewalls to intrusion prevention systems, and some of the benefits of each device. Remember, all these devices must be configured so they are only as effective as the rules they follow. Hopefully now you have an idea of the options available to you and can make a more informed decision about your network security. Thanks for watching.